We're grilling hot dogs inside the stove. Oh, I know you'd planned a special meal for today. Tell me about the meal that I could have had. Well, it was going to be Philly cheese steaks. I had um, been marinating the meat for a couple of days and uh, sliced up some onions and some bell peppers and mushrooms and got some nice cheese and some nice rolls and I thought that was going to be a really nice meal, but we kind of ran out of daylight for it. So, well, hot dogs. I mean, that's why you bring a backup, I guess. When you think about, um, we're gonna go camping, I'm gonna take some stuff with us, we're gonna prepare some stuff on site, I'm gonna do some stuff back at the house. What's your balance, do you think? Well, I, I, like, to, I like to do as much prep as I can at the house, but I like to cook the meal on site. And so, you know, cut up the vegetables and put them in containers have the meat ready to go, sliced up, marinated. All you gotta do is put it in the hot skillet. Um, it, we actually had a dessert planned too that was gonna be super good and we just are gonna have to do that another time. And This is a choker. It's a really a very cool little tool for logging or for making firewood. So I'm going to put this around here. And this end here then, the knob goes into here and it comes straight. And then this just becomes the world's best slip knot. I'm going to hook that at the wheel and we're going to take that back to camp. Take it down through here, pull it over there, and then it becomes a slip knot. We only brought plastic stakes today, and they work great if you're camping in a foot or two of snow or in loose dirt, but we're camping in about two inches of snow, and the ground's frozen, and so they don't work with the hoot. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these poles that we've been getting here to about the length of the tent, and then we will set them beside the tent, and then we'll use cord, and we'll um, tie the cord from the tent to the poles here, and that'll hold the tent down for tonight. And then in the meantime, we'll get some firewood out of the deal, so that's a good deal.
So here's the finished sort of product. You can see we put the logs, kind of tied the logs with some string guy wires, but to try to get it away from the tent a little bit, we kind of did that because you can see down here, it doesn't really pull it away much. And we can still get in here. easy. Well, that's all we're going to cut tonight. What's your favorite meal? Hmm. Well, I do always like a steak. Um, that's probably my favorite. Uh, well, I, you, one of the things I like about a steak, I mean, first of all, I like the taste of steak anyways, but the other thing I like about steak when you're camping is it's just easy. Well, it's easy, but it's almost like it's kind of luxurious too, because it, I mean, at least the way that we do it, and I think you've shown that before. Okay, so I'm going to make myself a hot toddy, I call it, so I'm going to put some honey. Some lemon. huge cinnamon stick that I'll kind of stir it all around with and I'm going to need some hot water next. Perfect. And then you just give that a stir and leave the cinnamon stick in so it gets nice and cinnamony and hot. It's so good. Okay, it's about zero degrees out here this morning. My four-wheeler, it's an older four-wheeler obviously, and it is cold-blooded at seven. And so, probably my biggest concern on this trip really was if it would start. To start it, it's gotta be in neutral. There we go. I'm gonna turn the lights off so it doesn't suck the battery down. Okay, so I've taken the seat off. Underneath the seat is the air filter. I'm going to take the air filter off and then you can get to the carburetor and I brought some starting fluid. I'm going to stick it in there. 
So we'll try that one. So the sun's come up a little bit more. Got the wheeler running. The sun's not quite on the tent yet. It's gonna be a great day. ventilation where I come from. And that's where your friends can stay. If you've got any friends after that, they can stay right here. You can see the cabin there. Pulling some moose tracks right here. You can see them. Let's see what kind of good one here. That's a good sized moose track. That's like a number 12 bun boot. And it looks like they went over here to world class facilities. Look at that. That's the nicest bathroom I've ever seen. It looks like a moose bedded down right here. 
and set up and use the facilities there. Another one over here maybe. Interesting. Oh, see him staying just inside the timber. Sneaky little devil. He doesn't want to be left by his friends. And they're way out there, dead center, almost against the tree line. We're ready to bring the stove out and cook lunch. But before we do that, we'll take a quick little look in here. You can see spacious two cots, stove. See how it's going still? No, it's still going. Extra wood. All right, we're gonna move that stove out and make lunch. Okay, we got lunch going on. We're taking down our tent. 
kind of getting ready to leave here, probably an hour or so. And as we mentioned last night, we're going to have Philly cheesesteaks. Start with vegetables. And these froze overnight. Of course they did. Not usually how I cook them, but uh, be all right, we're going to give them a try. Oh, so. look at that nice clump of frozen yeah. stuff. So that's oh yeah, I think that's how they do it on the cooking shows. Onions and peppers. And then I'm going to cook these just a little bit, and then I'm going to add some mushrooms. You know, I think I'm going to make a lid for that real quick, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. All right, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. And just like that, we have a lid. Nobody likes thought of this in their cheese steaks. Perfect. Okay, next we add mushrooms which also are frozen no problem Get our deluxe lid back on and I think the one we had planned for tonight was easy in the sense that it essentially gets all cooked in one pan that's kind of essential we don't have a bunch of foil packets of whatever I mean it's one pan um, Here, I think we need to add the meat. Oh, yeah. I should have added the meat a little sooner, but I'm busy with the tent. All together now. Put that lid back on. Make it all happy. I think this is almost ready. And what I want to do is, oh, that was really good. I want to kind of, I'm going to leave the lid off now so we can kind of boil off some of those juices. And then we'll get the cheese melted on there and the bread. And it looks like we have more than really the two people, but just right now. we'll make it work. Looks good. Okay, so I'm going to divide this up and then I'm going to put the cheese on it and put the bread that's toasting. And I actually wasn't sure if stuff would freeze, and so I put um, wax paper between the cheese so that it would not stick together. Swiss and Pope alone. Can you put the lid back on it to melt the cheese? Sure. Let's look at our bread is. Oh, that looks so good. Flip that. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. This is 
going to be the tough part. That over there and grab it out. Try it. See if it works. So you always want to clean your cast iron when it's still hot. We're going to let that boil in there for a minute and it'll delaminate everything and then we can wipe it down. And so, thinking about all of our meals, what would you say is kind of the, maybe the coolest of all the things that you've done? Well, so I guess it was last summer we went to Kennecott. Oh, we had a lot of good food on that trip. Yeah, and so it's a long, it's a pretty long drive from Anchorage. It was, I don't know, how long of a drive is it? Four, six hours, something oh, longer, like that? Oh, longer than that. It was a, longer, it was oh, yeah. a long trip. As So I got, we, let's see, I think I got off work and then we hit the road and so it was late already. So we didn't even make it all the way. Camped under some bridge. Oh, that was which, cool. But um, we wanted to make sourdough bread oh. because I've been really into sourdough because of the whole, you know, everybody's got their own sourdough starter. And so I've been making a lot of bread and pancakes and all that stuff. And so I was like, oh, we should do that in the Dutch oven. You know, a little sourdough bread, kind of try to make it authentic or whatever. And so, but the way that I do my sourdough bread is I um, mix it up and then I kind of let it rise, I don't know, for a half hour or so. And then I, every hour, or every half hour, I guess, I do a stretch and fold, is what it's called. And so as we're driving the final part of this trip, which the final part of the trip is, you know, I don't know, oh. two hours on a unimproved dirt road crappy gravel <laughs> yeah. road and, and but in, fun oh yeah and in some place well yeah i mean i don't think you're going over 30 miles an hour max, i don't know max 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 maybe i don't know and there's some places that it's like if you come across another car you, it's not really a, a very wide road either but no. at any rate super fun so the whole so we had a lot of time so no big deal and so i have my little sourdough bread there and every half hour i'm i pull it out and pull the cover off of it and do a stretch and fold and so you know, that's our car trip till we finally get to, you know, get to where we found that campsite, which is also funny. Because it was sort of just pull up and camp where you feel like it. There was not really camp spots there. There are people remember. everywhere. Yeah, but there was it, there's no, no designated camp spots. Yeah, it's just sort of wherever you can find thing. to pull up this bike, which was cool. And so then, yeah, so then it was. So then it, after. I guess after you do that part, you just then let it rise for another, I don't know. 
three hours, four hours, whatever. So we went and did a bunch of stuff, checked out kind of checked out kind of the town a little bit. McCarthy. McCarthy, right? And then we cool um, place. and then we came back and got the Dutch oven going, put it in the Dutch oven, and it was amazing. That might have been. I, maybe I'm biased, or maybe it's because you're out in the middle of nowhere. That might have been my favorite uh, sourdough that you've done. Well, I think it was. I think it was really good because we were hungry and we were out in the middle of nowhere. But um, remember, we also had those people next to us oh, camping, yeah. and it was kind of cool to be able to share it with them because it was a cool little. I mean, you don't. It's not something you normally do when you're camping. Well, to me, it's in like total classic Alaska. Yeah. You know, Alaskan the old sourdough, cooking it in your Dutch, Dutch oven, oven in yeah. the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but it was good. It had a, just the perfect crust, and it was really good. But it was just fun the whole process because I was doing all this stuff I normally would do at home, you know, in the car while we're driving. But yeah, that one was pretty fun. intensive and so if you're camping and you really want to be out doing stuff all day you don't have time to do that but we had time to kill in the car so why not <laughs> 